So today I'm going to be short and sweet. I'm not going to beat around the bush, but what I have learned along the way is that the most important skill a marine biologist can have is to be able to teach yourself new skills and to be able to work independently. So yes, once you leave school and you start your path onto becoming a marine biologist, inevitably you'll probably spend a couple of years at university. And while here, you will learn from some seriously smart lecturers about the big things in the ocean. You'll learn important scientific theories, important ecological concepts. You'll learn how to set up a hypothesis, maybe how to run an experiment, how to analyze your data, and hopefully you'll learn the value of statistics. So you'll learn a couple of things along the way. But the ocean is huge and the ocean is vast and every different thing in the ocean requires a different approach. So for example, if you want to look at the diet of a clownfish versus the diet of a great white shark, you are going to need completely different techniques, completely different approaches for these different species. And not only when you're looking at different species, but even if you're just focusing on one species and you want to look at different facets. For example, maybe you want to know what the species eats, how it interacts with other species, how it behaves, maybe what age it reaches sexual maturity. All of these different things require different approaches. So there's no way you can develop all the skills, know how to approach all the different species, all the different aspects of the oceans at university. So once you leave university, or even when you're doing your postgraduate studies, you'll enter a, a small subset of the ocean, a niche. And once you're in this niche, you need to be able to teach yourself the set of skills you will need when working in this niche. And then after all of that comes the computer side of things. So once you've collected your data, you need to analyze your data. And hopefully when you go to university, you will learn the value of statistics. You will learn certain sets of analyses that you will conduct on your data. You might learn how to use a software or two. But again, you'll come to see that every unique data set requires a unique approach when you are trying to analyze it. So inevitably along the way, you'll probably have to teach yourself how to use new software on the computer. You'll probably have to teach yourself how to code because that's sort of where the future of statistical analyses is heading. And you will maybe even have to learn how to use whole new sets of analyses. And yes, along the way, you will have people to help you and guide you. You'll have supervisors, bosses, colleagues, people who've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, people who will be able to help you, give you advice. But you know, when it comes to science, the point is that you are adding new knowledge, you're doing something new, you are breaking scientific boundaries. So there will always come a time when people haven't done what you are trying to do and you will need to figure out a method, you will need to figure out how to do what you need to do. So you need to be able to work independently and you need to be able to teach yourself new skills. Whether it be fishing, whether it be diving, whether it be driving a boat, whether it be learning how to pump the stomachs of stingrays like I had to do. I hope this video helped any budding marine biologists out there. If you know anybody who's interested in marine biology, please share this video with them. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up to date with me. And until next time, I hope you all have a happy day.